Hello everyone. I am Kapil Thakur. I am a chartered accountant and PhD with Big Four, NSC, BSc, and Emeritus Learn. I train learners for product operations and risk management. We have our series of sessions on YouTube channel for products. We are now bringing in sessions for operations. I hope all of you will like that. Thank you. We are now starting with a topic in operations: reference data management. Under which first subtopic is introduction to reference data management. Now, when we say RDM, it's a department by itself. Various investment banks hire you as investment bank managers for RDM, analysts for RDM, associate for RDM. What is RDM? There was a time when then online trading was not there, and physical shares used to trade. When people used to buy them, they call Reliance, Google, Tesla, Tata Steel. Tata Steel was called that time Tisco, Tata Motors. It used to be called Telco, Tomco, like that. The names were there. Times changed. We are now having. Online trading from 1994 slowly the bolt took over. Then entered National Stock Exchange, another high tech facility. So slowly these names got replaced by numbers or codes. It's very very interesting. It's very interesting to learn Ali. Now if I tell my BSc broker, Reliance. He will prefer if I say five double zero three two five. That's the code of Reliance. If I say Tata Steel five double zero four seven zero, and NSC, there is a twelve character alphanumeric code. So that's different. So basically, RDM is dealing with codes, and it's very very interesting. To learn that, so let's start with introduction to RDM. What is data? And data is very interesting thing. Please remember this: crunching of data, preparing the data, classifying the data. But what is data? If I maybe ask you, data is a collection of information. Not just collection of information; they are usually organized. That's what data is. It can be words, it can be numbers, it can be pictures. Words, as you can see, alphabets. Data can be classified based on how it is used. There is data required for knowing your customer. Banks require that. That's what you call KYC. Then you may require data to be reported to regulatory authorities. and of course very very interesting data is required for management information system reporting mis we know that what's going on why kyc is required because world says that there has been lot of cases of hawalas smuggling money laundering to avoid all that we require identity to prevent criminal money flowing into the system we require kyc Regulatory authorities recently we saw fall of New India Cooperative Bank. It's almost closed now. And next company which has come into the regulatory eyes is Gensol, G E N S O L. All of you know, ninety percent of market cap is gone. In twenty twenty three and twenty twenty four, it appreciated by thirty six hundred percent. And what is happening at present? Ninety percent of M cap is gone. And promoters face a charge of two hundred and sixty-two crore money laundering. And as per the auditors, it may go up to six hundred and sixty crores. Company is now almost in debt bed. So whenever regulators require, and I would say regulators take preemptive actions in certain cases. 
that put big private bank india's richest banker kotak mahindra on radar by banning their online 811 accounts and credit cards recently on 25th february they lifted the ban it was banned in last april so almost 10 months kotak suffered profitability definitely got hit because there were very high number of lapses in it regulations it controls were very poor so regulatory authorities have a right there was a very beautiful article in economic times from kid gloves to sucker punch and what did it say it said it's high time that sebi and rbi deliver a sucker punch they have iifl was banned from gold loans jm financial was banned from IF, uh, ipo financing you also saw very tough time for hdfc bank punjab national bank bank of baroda muttut finance everybody faced it even edelweiss they faced it it's required the country which will have nice regulations will have mental peace and good investors if i look at mis reporting management crunches this data it requires the data it requires a lot of information which is highly appreciated so now the question is what is rdm reference data management the core work of rdm is to create and maintain data for organization data can be in form of client details settlement instructions national holidays currency rates etc currency rates are the basket of currencies dollar pound euro and yen these are four very important currencies required the rates along with that pegged with rupee nowadays we read dollar is depreciating rupee is strengthening that is also a very important data now why are these details required client details or settlement instructions settlement instructions means when you trade in how many days the trade will get closed t plus 1 t plus 2 like that all of us are aware of t plus 1 is in india t plus 2 is in united states t plus 3 is in canada trading plus 1 day 2 day or 3 day then there is national holidays us markets closed on 26th may war memorial day 4th july independence day indian markets 15th august 26th january 2nd october 14th of april so you should know these things these are also uh, then there are also currency rates as i said because you require currencies data is used why for processing of transactions from initiation of transaction to execution etc then there are compliance measurements whatever is told we have to comply can we refuse them no compliance is a must compliance brings in lot of positivity then there is analytics analysis of data then there is risk management what is risk management minimizing the risk please understand risk management does not means eliminating the risk as a minimizing the risk if you can eliminate nothing like it but minimize also is a big thing because you save lot of money for your organization client reporting this is must to the regulators who are the world's data providers bloomberg forbes thomson reuters moody's ihs are few names you can see the big list here we have shared with you alpha sense bloomberg c bonds cqg the logic factset fidesa market merger market money.net moody's morning star nyse technologies and thomson reuters are few of them so they give free i know no lunch is free 
free cheese is available only in mousetrap. So don't expect that. This is qualitative. You pay for that. They charge you, of course. Free you tell you. It's not free. It's always, it's always chargeable. And they are world's leading data providers. Thank you very much.